Let us have a look at Imperial. This is really a global leader for hot climates. And it's fairly easy to recognize because the inner leaves are very upright and the head is way down in the plant. And what we can see is that in this planting, it is doing okay. It's not perfect, so July 20th, uh, we've had a lot of heat. It's going to be in the 90s today. I think last night the low was about 71. Uh, and that kind of weather is hard on Imperial too. Um, so. Pretty good, one of the toughest for these conditions. There's one that's ready to harvest. Um, but this is uh, this one. So that's a good head. Um, there's one that uh, bad timing ended up being pretty bad. This little guy uh, may develop, but it doesn't look too promising. Um, and this one is pretty heat injured. Uh, typically, by the time it's this size, Imperial will have normal size buds on it. Uh, there are some varieties that, well, they're, where they'll grow later, but this isn't one of them. Here's a head that's passed, and that one did not make commercial quality. Uh, that one's looking pretty good. A little heat injury on that one. That one's going to have quite a bit of heat injury. A little uneven, so we've got conditions that make it tough, even on Imperial. Take a look from the side here at the structure of the plant. So it does make a good dome, good strong stem on it, and one of the better ones for the heat. These conditions are a little bit too much for it to be uh, successful commercial. 